Hello friends, thanks for joining me again on Let's Talk. Well, this time is Let's Talk and Let's Talk is where we have opportunity, is a place where we have opportunity to actually discuss various issues, various events. We are free to say whatever we want to say as long as it's going to have value to people. Not, we are not here to curse, we are, not, we are just here to outline some very salient issues about life. And this time I have with me Edith. Yeah. Hi Edith, how are you? I'm good. It's Happy good to, to have you here. Yeah, thank you so much. It's been a while I've been trying to actually lock you down. But finally, <laughs> you're here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll be talking about text messages. The last time we did something on text messages, we actually talked generally about it. But this time, Edith and I will be talking about why it is, why is it the reason why it is either good or bad for a wife or a husband to read the spouse's uh, text messages and so many other things that comes with it. So Edith, would you just, let's start with, um, do you think it's, in, it's right for a woman to read her husband's messages? Well, I'm not just gonna say outrightly no. If it was not the original plans for both of you to share uh, mm -hmm. to read each other's messages then why read his messages after but if it were the original plan that look there's no secret between us you could read my first messages and i could read yours fine that was good but if there was no such arrangement it's really really bad for you to you know go ahead and start reading your husband's messages when he has already told you that something like that, he doesn't want it also. So what about the woman aspect that, okay, take for instance, now you said that it's not good for a woman to read her husband's messages. So is it good for a man to read the wife's messages still? Same thing apply. Like I said earlier, if it's not in the original plan, then it's bad for either, either side, whether male or female. If it were not in the original plan, that both of us will read each other's mm -hmm. messages then there's no point going ahead to read it. It's bad for a woman to read the husband's messages and also it's bad for the husband to read the wife's messages okay. if that wasn't the plan originally. Okay, let's look at the, this aspect whereby the woman feel the, it may be sending a message to her husband and the husband refuses to reply. In this instance, it, what would you say is going on on the ground? I don't get that. Now, you know, there are so many people out there that may be relationships and all, mm -hmm. but in the situation whereby the woman sends the man a message, I'm sure so many people could resonate well. Maybe you are not experiencing it, and some might be experiencing the aspect whereby you send your husband a message mm -hmm. and the guy just feels, well, she will live in the same house now. Why will you be sending me a message? You know? <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's a mistake a whole lot of us make when even when you're in the bathroom or at your backyard and your wife send you a test message or your husband sent you a test message it's always good to reply to such test messages do you know it's even as bad as some people not reading it mm. if they are the backyard and they open a test message and it's coming from their wife who is maybe in the kitchen mm -hmm. or in the sitting room or something they don't just read it it's very very wrong she might be warning you against something she might be trying to restrain you from trouble, a whole lot of other things like that. So I, mm. I just believe that if the test messages come to us, whether you're in the bedroom or your wife is in the kitchen, it's always good for you to look at it. And if you need to reply, you reply. Now, I want to take you back to where we started from in the aspect of um, a woman reading an husband's message or the man reading the wife's message. Mm -hmm. If there is nothing to hide, why would I not be in a position to actually play with my husband's phone, go through his messages, go through his pictures, or even his mails? Well, anyway, I'm really going to be bare on this one. You know, sometimes it's not as if there's something really to hide. It could just be um, a colleague in the office or Maybe a stranger your husband is flexing with or something. Mm -hmm. There might not really be anything, but he might just feel, oh, 
this is not healthy enough for my wife to see. Mm. You understand? And as such, tends to hide his phone mm. or her phone from each other spouses. And I, I really don't feel it should be a cause for concern if your husband is a uh, if your husband is respectful and doing every other thing okay unless i don't know if you're a feminist then you might decide to say oh why at all why shouldn't i or why should i but i, I feel those things are inconsequential i'm not saying that big problem cannot arise from such it can but there's a way you see your husband and there's a way both of you relate and speak a language that both of you understand and you see no reason to start probing on such things. Okay, now something just dropped in my mind. Let's talk about the Instagram, Facebook messages and all, whereby some some couples are not even friends on Facebook or on Instagram. <laughs> what do you have to say about it? Because it's so, so funny. You know, when people get involved in a relationship, they, all, they are all about, um, okay, let me add you this and that. And maybe something happens, they decide to block one another. Or now, by the time they finally got married, then the guy is like, no, I don't want you to be a friend with me on Facebook or the lady. It's basically... I, I really want to get this clear. Are you talking on the relationship level or now the marriage married, level? That, or, you know, when it all started, both. they want to be friends. To be friends. But now they've sealed this up. They are not... The, the, the guy might unfriend a lady or... But I'm sure ladies don't unfriend their own friend well, their men. You I really want to think be friend to your man on his if that to say I see everything wrong with that. Because if I have a serious relationship or uh, I'm married, the first person I want to be friend with is my husband. Mm -hmm. And uh, since I don't have anything to hide, why don't I make my husband well if I follow my husband on Instagram or make him a friend on Facebook? If your husband is keeping you out of his Facebook, uh, his Instagram, Twitter, girl, yeah, there is something wrong, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I'm sure yeah. there is someone out there really right now that might be in this position. What would you advise a person to do? How would you advise a person? First and foremost, I would really want to talk to your husband about it, or talk to your wife about it. And if the answer is still no, the earlier you wake up, the better for you. Mm. That's it. Wake up to what? <laughs> See, because well, people might not think you negatively, like, okay, maybe I should just do something. No, no, not really do something. All. Anyway, sure, I can't explain further, but my people used to say, <laughs> a word is enough for the wise. Exactly. But when I still wake up, you need to really look into some other things to make sure that this man is not a uh, double dating in terms of relationship or this man is not married to someone else or this man is not doing something very very shady that he or she doesn't want you to know about that's what i mean when i say mm. wake mm. up mm. You, you, <laughs> okay let's just leave it at that <laughs> okay you have something more to add <laughs> well finally before we actually call it today on this um side of the program it's um i would also want you to just a little maybe there are some things that we need also need to delve into fine we started from text messages and you know this hidden picking calls hiddenly like you're you know we see the movies a lot mm -hmm, when right. you sleep and then the call comes in when you go somewhere to pick it mm. is that what what sign is that for a woman <laughs> or for a man both of is that a good sign in short, I wouldn't say it's a bad woman. Really? Yeah, if you're with your husband and your call comes in and you have to leave the bedroom to go take the call somewhere else, there's really something going on. The call could be from a, from your family. If there's nothing shady, then you should be able to talk where yeah. your husband is. And uh, if the call is uh, from a friend, it means there's something about that friend. They yeah. are hiding from your husband because if it's about if it's if it's happening to married couples you remember the bible says adam and eve they were naked together mm. they were nothing they are hidden. Into bible. <laughs> no, just, <laughs> I'm, just, just, I'm just saying that yeah. so we should know it that once you're married you're married there's nothing secret anymore mm. both of you have become 
one, one. Mm -hmm. two becoming one so that's why i kind of you know advise couples to talk about a whole lot of things from family to friendship and what it what you were before both of you met i know there are some things that you might not say you know mm -hmm. but then at least you'll be able to talk about 60 percent of what happened before both of you met mm. That's really a very good one, actually. Learn to express yourself. Communication is actually very important in marriage, any so any kind of relationship. And when you start seeing such red lights, begin to deal with the issues. The issue of um, text messages, like Edith said, if you have a lay down rule that we are not going to read our messages, then stick to it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's even very safe because what if the guy is doing some on the jig stuff? And you just bumped into a text message and before you know it you start uh, your blood pressure start increasing you know and then you start acting up <laughs> so you see it's for your own good just stay away from text messages or anything if he invites you to actually read his messages why not if not and for the man too i know men because you have been des designed as the head of the home so you would want to say okay the woman can't do this but i can there is equal equ there's equity in all of these things if you say you love him and she lo she loves you yeah. back so if you can have equal love for one another then you should be able to have a level playing ground for one another so please try to stay away from things that will cause you trouble but try try to also speak your speak your mind say what you feel is going on in your relationship or in your work, marriage and you feel you want to tackle it well, thank you so much for um, for coming, Edith. It's nice having you. And thank you so thank much for you. those beautiful thank words you, that you've okay. shared with us. And I hope to see you next time. Uh-oh. Always available. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us on this Let's Talk part of the platform where we talk about salient issues, various issues, and this is one of them. I look forward to bringing you another exciting topic. See you next time.